This is Admiral Carius. Surrender control of your ship. Lucifer's a mining planet. Why are the Imperials taking us there? Vader seeks the bright star. He must not succeed. Corvax? That creepy guy said you were a descendant of Lady Corvax. She stole the bright star, believing it would be so her husband to life. It reduced our world to the wasteland you see now. You were a means to an end, but now you have outlived your usefulness. A word of advice. Do not anger Vader. May the sleeper guide your spirit. Along the river of stars. Vader won't waste any time activating the Eon engine. When he does, he will destroy what little life still clings to our planet. Only you can face Vader. Our only hope is to attack his castle. Wait, 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 wait. You want us to take on his entire garrison? We need an army for that. You have. As Lady Kovac's descendant, you can command the Horde in battle. Even now, they are with you in the necropolis above. Uh, unless you can magic us up some wings. Can't really see how we're gonna make it all the way back to Vader's castle. Perhaps we can restore that ancient air skiff. What air skiff, bug eyes? This platform is designed to lift us to the necropolis. However, it is not functioning. Its source of power is energy crystals. These can only be set in place by one of Kovac's blood. Vader will take the Bright Star to his chambers and activate the Eon Engine. But if we hurry, we may yet stop him. I know you did not choose this path, but our future depends on you. My people will do what we can 
and I have summoned another to aid us in our struggle. The necropolis. We are here. The marching horde awaits us. There they are. Lady Kovac's marching horde is leader. Your light sword can command them. And there is one who still knows her. Lord Kovac, thank you for heeding my call. Veda now possesses the bright star. How will you stop him from activating the Eon engine? Perhaps we can destroy it. And destroy the bright star along with it. If we shatter the bright star, the life current will be free to flow through Mustafa. But first, we must reach Veda. We need the marching horde. With the horde at our side, my tribesmen can engage Veda's troops. In order to awaken the Horde, you must make the signals of authority with your light sword. Use the light sword to follow my actions. Stroke upwards, left to right, then straight downwards. Now, a second gesture. This time, a three-pointed shape, a tribute to the three favors. Magnificent. Keep going. One final series of gestures. Sweep your light sword upwards to finish in the position of command. In order to done. They now recognize you as their master. Only you have the power to stop Vader. Your strength will be tested, but we will help where we can. The chamber opens. is under your captain's command. But if we are to stop Vader, you must now transfer that command to me. I will lead them in our assault on the garrison. Touch your light sword to my staff. Well, at last. Wanek will take you to Vader's castle. I will follow with the horde. How about this time I'm the pilot of this breast bucket? Hmm? My servos can't take any more of your piloting, or whatever it is that you're calling it. Later, Chloe. 
bongers. I like this guy. Uh, Warnick, got any lights on this thing? Ancient lava flows formed a network of conduits. My tribesmen mapped them out centuries ago. Without my guidance, a soul could be lost down here forever. Presuming any soul in their right mind would want to come down here. Hey, hold that thing over! Attack! <laughs> You'll have to deal with the troopers. We can't outrun them.
No pressure, bug guys. But serious. Be careful. I just tell them about fancy flying. Oh, if Lonic doesn't crash that thing, I'll be amazed. Ready for trouble. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think we got him off. Let's move on. going. My friend, fortune favors you both. Fortune had nothing to do with it, lady. That was all skill. Now, you and I must stop, Lida. Bye, guys. Come on, you're with me. We'll get the windfall and keep the Imperials off your back. Call me superstitious, but I'm not going to wish you any more luck, Captain. Just... Hope I see you on the other side. Blessings to you both. Follow me. of an individual. Remember, the bright star represents the life energies of an entire world, and life longs to be free. If the moment presents itself, do what you must to destroy the Aeon Engine. Vader has activated it. Training me a life force. You must stop him before he drains the vitality of every being on this planet. I have taken you as far as I can. 
but you must finish this alone. Reach inside yourself, find strength, and remember, fate chose you for a reason. of this world are not enough. There are countless others. You! So, you survived the caverns. No matter, you've arrived too late. Can you feel it? Your own life force is ebbing away. Where your ancestor failed, I will succeed. for one final Ancestor's destiny is fulfilled. Is that all you've learned? Let us see how much of your training you recall. Blood connects you to its power. Enough. gratitude. You have freed me from the prison of time. And in doing so, righted our wrongs. The priestess was right. The energy from the bright star now flows through Mustafar. Slowly, our world will begin to heal.
kept it! You didn't get killed! Again! Come on, hop in! Or, I guess I'll come help you. Well, look who's awake! The whole family's back together again. Back on the windfall. As it should be. Okay, we are all set to clear the atmosphere. Finally, we can get off of this hellscape. Hey, let me take a look at that saber, would you? Something familiar about it. The design looks kind of like the totem Violet gave us. He said it dated back to Lady Corvax's time. Got it! By the Maker! A star chart! Wherever that is, it's way beyond the Outer Rim. It almost looks like a treasure map. What do you think? Should we check it out? We're almost clear of Mustafa. Get ready to jump to hyperspace. Punch it, Captain. We've got a treasure to find.